Cisco's Fastlane Plus is a solution that significantly improves the experience of any Wi-Fi 6 capable Apple iPhone or iPad connected to a Cisco wireless Wi-Fi 6 network. As a background, Fastlane Plus builds off the existing Fastlane feature, which provides users with an enhanced iOS client experience through optimized roaming and customizable application prioritization. By leveraging Wi-Fi 6's OFDMA, Fastlane Plus takes the Fastlane solution to the next level by enabling incredible voice and video streaming quality for iOS 14 and above clients under even the most congested RF environments. To get technical, when multiple Wi-Fi 6 client devices want to communicate to a Wi-Fi 6 network, it can do so efficiently using Uplink OFDMA, which allows the network to better serve client devices in parallel by sharing the bandwidth resources. While Uplink OFDMA enhances the client experience to a degree, it too faces limitations under environments with high channel utilization. The reason being, Uplink OFDMA is BSR-based, meaning the network must periodically collect buffer status reports from client devices to understand what data the client devices plan to send next. This method of polling is of high overhead and performs less effectively under highly congested RF environments. Hence, users begin to receive a worse client experience. Fastlane Plus, introduced in iOS XE version 17.4.1 and AirOS version 810.142.0 on the Catalyst 9130 access point, solves this problem by enhancing this existing Uplink OFDMA solution through cooperating directly with the joint Apple iOS clients. When an Apple iOS client decides to use a voice or video application in a network above 60% channel utilization, the client will automatically send an ASR trigger to the access point composed of data such as the periodicity of traffic and the traffic bitrate. At this point, an ASR session has been formed between the network and the client, and since voice and video applications by nature have predictable bitrates, traffic patterns, and bandwidth requirements, the network can now intelligently estimate the uplink buffer status, reducing the overall network latency. These are the key principles of how Fastlane Plus works, but to further prove the solution's legitimacy, we've gone ahead and created an Ixia Chariot performance testing setup that simulates a congested 75% channel utilization network environment full of active client devices. This environment is composed of two 11AC laptops and 16 Wi-Fi 6 iPhone SEs passing voice and video traffic, two 11AC laptops passing voice traffic, and four 11AC laptops passing best effort and background traffic. This test was first ran on a network with Fastlane Plus enabled, and again with Fastlane Plus disabled. To enable this feature on a 9800 controller, we need to navigate to the WLAN page, select our WLAN of choice, then under security, set the PMF settings to either optional or required. Then under Advanced, enable Advanced Scheduling Request Handling. Viewing both performance tests being run in parallel, you'll immediately notice the superiority of the Fastlane Plus enabled network in every metric category. The Fastlane Plus enabled network has a MOS score of around 4.3 versus the Fastlane Plus disabled network's MOS score of just around 3.0. For one-way delay, we have below 9 milliseconds versus above 10 milliseconds. And for jitter, we have below 5 milliseconds versus above 7 milliseconds. Once the test is completed, we can observe through the trend graph that the Fastlane Plus enabled network consistently outperforms the Fastlane Plus disabled network throughout the entirety of the test. These metrics directly translate into a better or worse voice and video experience, so let's take a look firsthand. With Fastlane Plus enabled and the same Ixia Chariot test running in the background, we use the Wi-Fi 6 MacBook Pro to WebEx call both a Wi-Fi 6 iPad Pro as well as a non-Apple Wi-Fi 6 client device and stream the high definition video to both devices. Although both client devices are connected to the same congested network, you'll notice a significant performance increase with the iPad Pro thanks to Fastlane Plus. To summarize, an ideal scenario where Fastlane Plus is enabled on a network where the channel utilization is between 70% to 85%, we can observe the following. First is MOS score increase of around 40%, transforming the audio and video quality from a dissatisfactory score to one of satisfaction. The second is a latency decrease of 30%, and a jitter decrease of 10%, further optimizing audio and video quality and reliability. Lastly, we have a throughput increase of 20%, allowing users to stream video content in more high definition, improving the end-to-end -end user experience. As you can see, Fastlane Plus takes the already incredible features of Wi-Fi 6 to the next level by allowing Apple iOS clients to operate efficiently under the most congested RF environments, ultimately benefiting even non-Fastlane Plus supported clients and providing users with the data they want when they want it.